Hi, my name's uh, Rob. I graduated in 2016 this year with uh, first in biochemistry. Uh, I did a pro professional training year as part of my course uh, working on pancreatic cancer and also for my dissertation I was working on mechanisms of detecting antibiotic resistance in patients. I was president of the Drama Society Act 1 for a year and directed my own show during it and uh, having done all that I started off coming to Cardiff through Clearing. It was actually fairly easy. Um, I didn't know that I was going through clearing until the morning I got my results, which was pretty stressful. And uh, I had my family sort of running around flapping all day. In the end, it was actually fairly easy. Uh, the Cardiff staff were very, very helpful. I just called them up and told them my grades, and they said, yeah, we've got a place for you. It just shows you that the whole office system isn't as formal or rigid as you think it is. Uh, I think that Cardiff has pretty much everything you could possibly hope for as a student city. I always think of it as sort of like a smaller, less manic London in a way because it has all you know, the vibrancies and opportunities of a capital city with another hustle and bustle and people you know, not, not looking at you in the street. People are just so much more friendly here as well. So the first thing and the main thing I would highlight actually is that you get access to all the societies in the Students' Union. There are like 200 of them and there are more and more being founded every year and no matter what your hobby or your interest is, you can find something in the Union. They run a scheme called Give It A Go at the beginning of the year, uh, which is basically where you can just go along to any society or club and see what you think of it. And if you don't like it, you don't have to commit. If you do, then you've found a new community to be part. Time management, especially studying biochemistry when you work in a lab, you have to have time management and it's really drilled into you and you can take it anywhere. It really sort of gets into your personal life as well. You become much better at organising yourself and organising your time and using it effectively. Uh, also, when you take a placement year, they make you find your own placement, basically. So you have to go out and search for it, you have to contact people and it just gives you a bit of that drive that really propels you forward into, uh, into a career and I think that's really valuable. Uh, access to very high quality research driven teaching. All the lecturers that we have here are researchers right at the edge of their field working on really frontier stuff. It's really interesting. It'll really capture your imagination. So when I met my personal tutor for the first time, he sat us down and he said, uh, right, so at the end of this, at the end of your three years or four years or whatever, you're going to come out of here with a piece of paper with a number on it and you're going to go to employers and you're going to say, look, I did, I did a thing. And they're going to be like, I don't care what the number is. I want to know what you can do. Go out, enjoy the experience and use every part of it. Join societies to get the most you can out of it because at the end of the day, they want to employ a person and not a grade. Uh, stay calm, first of all. Don't beat yourself up because clearing is nothing to be ashamed of. It's really not a problem. And honestly, I couldn't have, it couldn't have turned out better because if I hadn't come to Cardiff, I wouldn't have met all the friends I have, wouldn't have met my girlfriend, I wouldn't have had the theatre opportunities and I, my life would be so different. So, brilliant things can happen, so don't beat yourself up.